Hey guys, we are here at Berryessa and we are fishing the Yakabass Teal Sea. It's day one. Yesterday we did get on some fish, but you know, the thing about fish that aren't bait, they're always moving. So we're gonna run to the spot, see if they're still around. If not, we're just gonna go and junk fish and look for them. The bite is tough. I'm hoping for five fish, five keepers. Um, if, it, if, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Just need five. You know, if you have five on day one, you're still in the hunt. If you don't, you're pretty much out of the game. So just shooting for five. So we'll see if we can get on today. There we go, finally. All right guys, first one of the day, 17 inch moly. Little guy. Finally. Choked it too. Sixteen here, guys. I see them, I see them quite a bit, but man, dude, I, I, like you said, it might just be like a window thing, huh? Ah! 
Ah, I finally got one. A little guy though. Squall. Squall. That's what these guys are here, the squalls. All the squall fish are going on, dude. Yeah, those are squall fish. Oh, this is a bass, though. The other one I caught was a squall. Fifteen and a quarter, guys. Yeah. All right, 15 and a quarter. Seventeen. <laughs> Finally. Hey guys, seventeen and a half. Hey, this one drop shot. Fifteen seven five.
There's a fish on it. Seventeen and a quarter. Finally. 
squat fish. Finally a bass. Too small. You guys are smallies. Got the little squirrel fish. Oop, 15 and a half. Oh, you're here. No!
Alright, we go finally. Yes, that's a coal right there. I got a few minutes to do this. All right, guys, 16.75 buzzer fish right there. All right, guys, we just got done fishing the Yakabass TOC here at Lake Berryessa, and this is day one. Today was was tougher. These fish that were there, they're not really there, or if they were, they had moved deeper. I did grab some schools out deeper. A lot of them were mixed with squall fish, and I caught a bunch of those, and they were a little bit deeper. They were moving around a lot. I mean, really quickly. You'd have to catch one and then go around and look for them in because they all get spooked off, and when you released one, that fish swam off and it took the school with them. That's what I've noticed. So that's what's the case. You know, you'd catch one here and then you'd have to look for them again and catch another one. Keep looking and catch another one or stay in the area where you know they're going to come through. And hopefully they come through and you can catch them. But with the pan optics, I was able to uh, motor around and find them and just pan out at 100 feet around me. And once I seen where they're at, I would motor over there and work them and then hopefully catch one or two and then move on. But... Today was pretty good. Um, I, I did what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to get a limit and break 80 inches. And I did. So hopefully for day two, we can repeat that. If not, we're gonna try really hard to do it. The bite here changes day by day. So it's, it may be different tomorrow. And the fish may not be there. And we may have to scramble around and really scrape the limit. And that's gonna be the hard part because on practice, I didn't catch any fish dragging or finesse fish or really dragging baits. I did catch them on drop shot, but those were schooling fish. If I'm not finding schooling fish, I'm in trouble. And that's the thing, because schooling fish are not really consistent because they're moving around so much. They're not really hanging around a structure or a type of cover this time of year. They're just following the bait. If the bait's being pushed out by the wind or the, or the school of fish is pushing them out or chasing somewhere... My fish may not be there, and that may be the case because these fish are always, always on the move this time of year. So it's going to probably be really good tomorrow, or it's going to be a struggle, and we're going to have to grind hard for a limit. That's when the finesse comes in. Hopefully, I don't have to throw it, but if I need to, I will. But really going to be chasing, just looking for that spoon bite because that is what's getting the better and more consistent quality bites. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be looking for them. I'm going to be motoring around, really trying to find these schools. If I can't, last last few hours of the day, I may just scrape a limit. Try to scrape a limit because tomorrow may be really tough. And having a limit may put you up there in the money. So that's the main goal. Hopefully, we do well tomorrow. And hopefully, we all have a good time. So yeah, that's going to end it for the day one Yakabass TOC here at Lake Berryessa. 
And we're going to try again tomorrow. Let's see if we can replicate. If not, we're going to go do something and try to find them. So stay tuned, guys, for part two.